Alhamdulillah, Assalamu Alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to a brand new channel. I'm Abu Bakr, aka the Musafir, aka the Traveler. Alhamdulillah, Allah has allowed me to do Hijrah, move to the UAE. I'm living here in Sharjah for the last nine months now, and I've had a lot of people asking me what it's like to live here and all sorts of questions about the living costs and you know the experience and you know how to make the move so i made this youtube channel to hopefully benefit as many people as possible with this regard as well as other things like cars travel hotels whatever it might be so welcome to the channel and if you're interested in any of the above that i just mentioned then make sure you hit that subscribe button today i'm going to be showing you guys a brand new development in al zahia called al zahia uptown which is kind of in the middle of sharjah i would say um, it's brand new, newly built, so it's fresh. Literally, I, when I moved here nine months ago, they were still building it. So slowly apartments are being released one by one. And we're gonna head over there, uh, meet up with the estate agent who helped me get my apartment. And he's gonna show us around a few different types of apartments. We'll talk about the pricing and so on and so forth. I do plan to do a more in-depth video in the future, inshallah, talking about the cost of living here and many, many, many other things, like I said. So inshallah, stay tuned for that. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, Abu Bakr underscore the Musafir will know that Alhamdulillah Allah allowed me to open up a supercar rental company here in the UAE and this is one of said cars that you can come and rent with us Premier Supercars Dubai so I don't plan to have any ads from YouTube on my channel whatsoever inshallah just I'm going to be promoting my supercar company so if you guys ever do come to Dubai or Sharjah or anywhere in the UAE make sure you hit us up we've got all different types of cars and I'm sure we'll be able to find the perfect car for you and you won't have to worry about any of the issues that come with regular car rental companies so yeah that's that and this the Jack J7 is the daily driver and I'll do a, I'll do a review of this car and I'll do a review of this car as well for those of you that are into cars but anyway let's get into the car and get it started up I believe the Iqama is going to go off soon so probably have to go to the Masjid thing before we set off if you're into cars like me and you like driving cars especially nice cars it's even more important that you remember to always read the dua for when you're getting into a vehicle bismillah alhamdulillah subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrinin wa inna ila rabbina lamunqalibun alhamdulillah 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 allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar subhanak allahumma inni zalamtu nafsi faghfirli fa innahu la yaghfiru adh-dhunuba illa ant so i just heard the iqama and that's one of the beautiful things about living here in the uae is that wherever you're going wherever you are you can always hear Iqama because it's always a masjid nearby. So I'm gonna head to the masjid first, inshallah, pray dhuhr, and then we'll head to the viewing for this new complex here in Sharjah called Al Zahia Uptown, inshallah. Just pulled up to the masjid, alhamdulillah, so we're gonna go pray. Honestly, the more time I spend with this car, the more I fall in love with it. And especially in this white color, I feel like it's not too boisterous, it's not too in your face. Like some of the colors you get bright orange, bright purple, bright green. They really just make it stand out a bit too much. Whereas in this, I really like it, alhamdulillah. Every single time I drive this car, the sheer brutality of it, the sheer brutality of it takes me back. Like, I'm so, like it doesn't make sense. How can a car that's this big, this practical, I've got a baby seat in the back. How can a car like this sound and drive like this? <laughs> Honestly, you really have to experience it for yourself. And if you do want to experience it for yourself, Premier Supercars Dubai, you know where to find us, inshallah. So as you can see by that sign there, this is Uptown Al Zahia. It is a brand new development. It's got studios, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom apartments. No villas or townhouses. Those you can find in the actual villa section of Al Zahia. And literally right there, actually connected by a footbridge, you have Al Zahia city center which is like a mall that has, you know, all the shops that you need, uh, food court, so on and so forth. Across this main road, you have Mawailih, which is a very, very family friendly area and also a lot cheaper than places like Al Zahia. Across from here, let me see if I can get it in the shot. You've got Al Zahia Garden Apartments, again, another building or compound rather with uh, more apartments. And then in the distance, You've got Al Mamsha, which I'll be doing thorough reviews of all of those in the future at some point as well, inshallah. Right now, I'm just waiting for the uh, state agent to arrive and we can head inside and take a look at some of these apartments, inshallah. 
We're waiting for him to arrive. What are some of the reasons why you would choose to live in a place like this? Well, first and foremost, like I said, it's brand new. And I know a lot of us living in the West, we're used to having certain aesthetics around us. We're used to having certain benefits, certain amenities that you would find in communities like this. Yes, they are usually quite a bit more expensive than places that are outside of here, but it just comes down to personal preference. If you would prefer to live in a place where you've got a very nice swimming pool, you've got access to shops, the pharmacies very close by in the community. There's a lot of greenery. Look, if you look here, there's a lot of greenery everywhere. It looks very, very nice. Even the, you know, uh, walking areas are extremely, extremely nice, especially in the evenings. We come here like evening time, just after Maghrib, when it's all lit up, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's very, very family friendly, especially like I said here in Sharjah, it's mainly Muslims. Very, very rarely do you come across non-Muslims that are living here. And there's many reasons behind that. And I'll, I'll also do a video on why I chose Sharjah over all the other Emirates and the benefits of living in Sharjah. And if I'm not mistaken, right here, they're building a brand new masjid that's going to be built right here inshallah so if you live in any of these apartments you're literally going to have a view of the masjid and you'll be literally a few steps away from the masjid at all times but obviously right now it's just barren wasteland and that is the car parking for the mall city center al zahia where inshallah i'll show you guys around that mall as well and it's, like i said it's one of the few places it's one of the few malls where you can actually comfortably record or rather I can actually comfortably record and not worry about having extremely inappropriately dressed uh, women in the videos and so on and so forth because like I said this is a very very good place to come if you're looking to move as a practicing family and you want to move away from the away from the west and leave behind all the vices that come from the west is it perfect no no places if you're looking for perfection you're gonna to have to move to the moon and set up your own community your own colony but for now this is one of the best places from the places that i've been to anyway inshallah so the camera battery died i'm gonna to have to use my phone for the rest of it inshallah this is Ziyabai. he's the estate agent who i deal with here in the uae i dealt with many and he was the best he was the most honest and that's why i felt comfortable with him here as you can see oh look there is going to be a medical center here you'll have a medical center in the place you'll have many pharmacies and a very, very nice and well built place. It's a security built here now. Security, yeah, yeah. So 24 7 the security here as well. Not that you really need it here, to be honest. So, Eden Masjid Banari. There's going to be a masjid right here. So, you can literally come out of your apartment and walk directly straight to the masjid right there. And that is where you got the footbridge that goes directly to the mall. Is this a mall to see that? And there's going to be more shops. They probably have a little supermarket, little. Barbershop, salon, things like that. You've got a very nice lobby area of the building. Is the security at the end? It's security inside the building as well. Pretty much brand new, smells brand new. One see apartment there. Two bedroom. Two bedroom. So we'll go to the two bedroom apartment first, take a look at that, and then see a one bedroom and also a studio and talk about the prices as well. This is apartment 405. As you come in, salam alaikum, you've got a kitchen. It's not the biggest kitchen. But for a small family, it will be more than sufficient. Put a dash, a washing machine, or, no, sorry, a cooker in there, and fridge here, and your washing machine. You'd have space in this wet room. Sorry, this isn't for the washing machine. This is a small storage room. As you come in on the right, you've got this quite spacious living room along with a balcony that has a view of the mall that I was talking about a second ago right there that is a play area for children looks like a playground that's the pharmacy that's where we walked from 
no idea what that is there but uh, that's the footbridge that goes directly to the moon and I believe the pool is somewhere in that direction there and the masjid that's being built is right behind this building here so you'll be able to hear the adhan and the iqama from your balcony uh, just to give you guys a reference of the size of the room I'll be expecting the the size of the room it's like I said for the room in here it's quite a good size for me I'm 62 I can take about five, six, seven, eight steps in this direction so it is relatively big you've got nice big large windows that allow a lot of natural light to come in uh, yeah master bedroom uh, no. no so this is the second bedroom the smaller of the two it comes with built-in wardrobes so you don't actually have to worry about buying wardrobes most if not all apartments that you get here for rent will be unfurnished you have to buy all the furniture yourself um, but usually cupboards are included and usually the cupboards are a very very ugly color <laughs> these are actually not too bad they're quite modern quite nice uh, this is the guest bathroom by the looks of it so you've got a toilet walk-in shower and double sink there yeah, washing machine. This is the room for the washing machine. Separate little laundry room you can have in there. This is more storage? Storage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got two storage spaces. My apartment only has one. And this is the master bedroom. So it's a little bit bigger, or no, it's even the same size as the other room. But you get a separate walk in closet area. Again, built in wardrobes. And. Okay, now the electricity switched off. You have a full bath, tub, toilet, sink. Now let's talk about price. So the rent here is about 85,000 dirhams a year, which works out to be about 1,600 pounds a month. So for those of you that are from London, we are thinking, wait, that's pretty much the same as London prices. For those of you outside of London, I'm thinking, wait, that's way more expensive than what I'm used to. But like I said, this is one of the places, one of the few places, especially in Sharjah, where you're able to get brand new apartments that have never been lived in before, extremely modern, all the amenities, you've got a gym, swimming pool, which I'm going to show you shortly, inshallah. You're literally steps away from the mall, which I can see from here in the kitchen. Uh, and that's the price that you have to pay. Somewhere like Moele, which like I said, is literally across the road. You can get a three bedroom apartment for 50,000, which is like... About a thousand pounds a month, I think. Let me just do the maths on that and get back to you. So this, I was right, it's, it's about 925 pounds uh, per month. But obviously here you pay, you give checks. But again, I'll talk about the payment system and all that in a different video. This is just to show you this particular building. So that's the two bedroom. We'll now go on to the one bedroom then the studio and then show you guys the gym and the pool area, etc. inshallah. So now we're gonna be going to a different building. Yeah, band kiyo isliye abhi tak ready nahi hai, khula nahi hai. Nahi nahi, ye ready actually. Wo sometime kuch repairing chahiye hona to fir se. Okay. Acha acha. So this is doing some repair work there, hence the tape. Easy access if you've got a pram. If you come with family, you don't have to worry about stairs. You've got a ramp like this. And yeah, it is a very beautiful scenic area. You've got seating area here. Kids can come and play. The bachon ka khelna ki bhi jagah. Yeah. Oh, last day. Acha, acha. Oh, tower jo hai na. Ji ji, bilkul. Bilkul, bilkul. I can see it. Tika, tika, inshallah. There's a barber shop for men here as well. Again, another ramp, more stairs. It should probably be a bump because it's in this community. I went across the road in Mawele for my trim. Me and my son, we both got it for 30 dirhams. Like six pounds for two people. Seven pounds. Yeah, yeah, swimming pool. Eh? Yeah. So this is the swimming pool area. You go up these stairs. It's good to prevent children from... Oh, it's locked. Hey, Tiga, Tiga. So you've got a nice large swimming area. You're mainly, mainly going to find, like I said, families, uh, Muslims, alhamdulillah. And uh, there's the gym, which is right next to the pool. I believe there's a kids' pool at the back and an adults' pool here. And then 
you've got the gym area there and yeah it's a nice nice community and then you've got all of these apartments that look over so probably not ideal for sisters <laughs> you want to assume here but brothers and children definitely inshallah this is the second building very very similar lobby area beautifully built very aesthetically pleasing and here are the lifts we're going to be going upstairs from here inshallah so this is on the fifth floor this is a one bedroom apartment as you walk in You've got a guest bathroom with only one sink this time on the left as you come in. You've got a washing machine room for your laundry. You walk into the living room. The kitchen here is open plan, so you're not getting a lot of worktop space or cupboards. So that might be a deal breaker for some people, especially if you plan to invite friends or family over, for example, and you would like to have a separate kitchen. Um, that may be an issue for you. A uh, place for a small cooker there, small fridge there. And this overlooks the main road. And you've got Mawede across the road from there. Like this is a one bedroom apartment for about 52,000 dirhams, which is about 950 pounds a month. And literally across the road in those buildings there, you can get probably a three bedroom apartment for the same amount of money, but it won't be this level of quality. Uh, this is the bedroom, the one and only, and it's very similar to be honest with the master in the two bedroom apartment. In fact, it's pretty much the same to be honest. Uh, it's got a sliding door, I'm not sure if the other one had a sliding door. It's got a sliding door, I'm not too sure to be honest if the other one had a sliding door or not. Uh, but it's like I said, pretty much the same. Oh, and it's got a walk-in shower as well. To be honest, I don't recall, did the other one have a walk-in shower? I didn't actually notice that. Like this is 52,000. But if you pay all up front in cash, then they will do it for 50,000. But still you're looking at roughly about 950 pounds a month. Now one thing I didn't deep, it's my first time doing this, is this battery thing is not a joke. This thing died literally within minutes, it wasn't charged properly. Even my phone's about to die now. So I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to show you guys the final apartment. Hopefully we get in there, I'm on 10%. It should last inshallah. But yeah, I need to, I need to learn, I need to fix up on this. I'm used to the podcast, chow my bite, but this stuff is all new to me. So this is like a viewing tower, the brother's telling me. You can go in there up to the top, have a look. Uh, see, you know, some nice views. Here, this is the play area for kids. It's actually quite nice, to be honest. It's not very, uh, like, extensive. There's not a lot here, but it's nicely built. Kids can run around, you know, kids will be kids at the end of the day. They can have a lot of fun with very, very simple things. And yeah, that's the play area. Let's now go look at the studio apartment, inshallah. So here, on, towards the other side, you've got like this uh, salon for women. By the looks of it, you've got another pharmacy here. You've got a yeah, restaurant, a cafe. You've got a little cafe. You can't really see inside because of the windows. Holland and Barrett. Ra, you got Holland and Barrett. Matting. And then this is where the footbridge is to go to the mall, which I'll show you guys shortly, inshallah. And here we're coming over to the other side. This side is a pool collider. Apartment is building. Okay, put your pile of almond, they say, Temple Badim, pool. It's a little bit of a little bit. Again, very similar seating area in the lobby. We've got the lifts there and another seating area here. Uh, every apartment comes with one parking space which is found underground um, so you don't need to worry about parking unless you need more than one and this now is the studio 404 you come in you've got the wardrobes on the left hand side straight as soon as you walk in you've got a bathroom i believe this is the only bathroom comes with a bathtub there's no walk-in shower you've got your fridge space here right next to your wardrobes Nice open window and an even smaller kitchen area here on this side. I don't think there's even space for a cooker unless you put it here because normally it's supposed to go here, right? Yeah, no, there isn't even space for a cooker. And this is on the back side. You've got some more parking there. And then those in the distance there 
are the Al Zahia Villas, which inshallah I will be showing you guys at some point. There's the Al Zahia Masjid in the middle of the screen. Um, all the way there on that side, you've got Al Jadal, which is another uh, development which I'll be showing you guys on another day, inshallah. And that is the mall once again. The Iska Red Kidna? Iska 32,000. So it's 32,000 dirhams a year. So you're looking at approximately, <laughs> roughly. Actually, <laughs> washing machine is a very good One second, guys. So your washing machine would be inside one of these cupboards at the bottom here. It's quite, quite crafty, that is. So you're looking at about 600 pounds a month. So if you're a single bachelor or even a newly married couple, you don't mind living in a studio apartment to begin with, for about 600 pounds a month, you can get yourself a place like this but like i said you don't actually pay monthly i'll talk more about the payments and how they work here in the uae in a separate video inshallah it looks like there's a nursery i don't know if it's oh wow there's a nursery that's built here i don't know how they're going to be teaching what they're going to be teaching oh well, that's interesting early explorers nursery yeah if you're interested in that that's that's your cup of tea and that's there as well. Or if you like to homeschool, then you can homeschool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be swimming pool, right? No, no, no. Yeah, but you get that. Oh, Samne, over there, sitting. So they get something to play. Oh, okay, okay. There's gonna be a kids' play area here as part of the nursery. This is the swimming pool. It's not the biggest. It's not the craziest. But it will definitely suffice and do the job. It was him. Same with the swimming pool as your pali dekata. Oh, there's two. Kya, ek separate admin or tonka ya bus? Make sand or no? Acha. Ek utar hai ek idhar. Okay. Wo wala chal gaya bhai. Ye abhi. Thik hai. To ye gym gym separate hai. Gym ha gym separate. Ye men ki gym hai to wo or tonki gym thi. Isme ek taraf men hai aur ek taraf aur. Acha acha acha. So inside the gym here, this is a little shower area for the swimming pool. This is the swimming pool, 1.2 meter depth, and you got a kids pool on that side. So here you've got the men's side of the gym, but, but, but it's empty. Maybe they haven't put the uh, things in there. Yeah, and that's the women's side of the gym. And here, acha acha. Okay, so this gym hasn't been fitted out yet with all the equipment, etc. And there you've got the kids' pool. So you've got two gyms. Uh, sorry, two swimming pools in this area. Oh, and I clocked here. They haven't even got the uh, lounges out either. So this is probably still being. Uh, worked on like I said it is a brand new building community so this is the entrance area to the mall like I said the mall is there that's where all the apartments are uh, you come in here again nice well built seating areas feels like a hotel lobby you got escalators going up across the bridge to the mall so this is as you're crossing the bridge, there's just more information. And you've got a. Um, one second. You've got like a. Diagram. So, wait, where, where will we be? So, we started and I parked my car here. That's where the masjid is being built, right here. To move my portable charger out of the way. Uh, that's the bridge where we are at the moment. We started the bridge. The masjid will be right here. And these are all of the apartment buildings. And then you've got the one pool here and the second pool on that side. And this is what it's going to look like once it's fully, fully complete, inshallah. Plenty of shops, plenty of apartment buildings. And this is the walkway that takes you directly to city centre Al Zahir. And so this is the parking area. And uh, yeah, this car park's got three floors. Ground one and two. It's a very nice mall. Like I said, compared to a lot of the other malls that you're going to find, forget about in the West. <laughs> Listen, West has got nothing on this when it comes to uh, you know the Islamic environment. Alhamdulillah. Um, but even compared to other places within the UAE, uh, this is a lot uh, better for practicing Muslim families. So, guys, that actually became quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to be, and I think I'm just going to make it a separate video. To be honest, I don't know if there even is going to be a video in there just because of the fact that I realized like three quarters into it that I was recording in slow-mo. 
and not regular video so there's no audio so i have to do a voiceover i don't know i might just do the video again but the bottom line is if you want to see that video then make sure hit the like button subscribe inshallah and drop a comment below if you have any questions about anything that i've mentioned and i'll do my best to answer it in a future video and like i said please don't forget inshallah i don't plan to run any ads here you won't be seeing any bookie stuff if you do it's from youtube it's not from me all i ask in return for all of this free valuable content is that you follow us on instagram premier supercars dubai and if you or anyone that you know are coming to Dubai and you think you'd be interested in renting out a car, then make sure you give us a shout, inshallah. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum. See you on the next video.